Hello, my name is Leah Beakley, and today I'm going to talk to you about CeraMetal, low-cost metal 3D printing with bronze clay. This is work done in collaboration with my colleagues Jamie Gould and Fiona Bell. We're all from the Hand and Machine Lab at the University of New Mexico. So CeraMetal is both a material and a process that we have developed in our lab. So first, the material, CeraMetal, is a custom metal clay that we've developed that we can 3D print using off-the-shelf ceramic clay 3D printers. Once we've printed an object from our metal clay, we fire it, a it in a kiln where it is sintered into a solid metal part. Um, this lets us make a wide range of everyday objects out of 3D printed metal, um, as you can see from this collection of objects here. I wanted to start by talking about our um, metal clay and how we developed it. I should mention that our metal clay is inspired by jewelers' metal clays. So jewelers have been working with metal clay materials for quite some time. Um, and this is what inspired us to develop uh, Sarah Metal. The ingredients of our clay, the primary ingredient uh, is a bronze metal powder. We mix that together with the food additives, methyl cellulose and xanthan gum. These bind the metal powder together um, into a clay-like material when mixed with water. We mix all of our ingredients together in a ki kitchen mixer, um, into a clay-like material, as you can see here. It took quite a lot of kind of trial and error experimentation to find a recipe for a metal clay that was actually extrudable um, and printable using standard um, 3D printers. Um, and you can find more information about those experiments uh, in our paper. Once we have a 3D printable material, we can print it on a clay 3D printer. For the experiments that we conducted, we relied primarily on an ESAO Zero clay 3D printer, which you can see here. This is a direct write printer that extrudes clay um, or paste, um, and it was developed specifically to support ceramic clay 3D printing. and see um, the process of 3D printing here. So to make 3D printing in our material possible, we had to also write software that generates tool paths that were suitable for printing in our uh, metal clay. That is because there's a particular challenge when working with our metal um, clay material, which is that we cannot start and stop extrusion. So if we send a stop extrusion command to our 3D printer, the metal clay material just continues to ooze out of the nozzle. We can't ever really get it to stop. The problem is that traditional 3D printing tool paths, like those produced by slicing software like Cura, have lots of travel movements, kind of movements in the tool path where you have to stop extruding move to a separate area of the print, and then start extruding again. You can see this is an example of a layer of a gear print part that was sliced in Cura, and you can see all of the true travel moves here are highlighted in blue. With our Ceramata material, we can't stop extruding, and so essentially all of those travel movements are printed and become part of the print. As you might imagine, this effectively wrecks most prints if you use a tool path generated um, with traditional slicing software. So we generated custom slicing software that um, eliminates or minimizes those travel movements. Um, and we use an, a technique that is based on generating spiral paths, where for each layer of a print, we generate a spiral that kind of goes in and then follows itself back out. And this allows for continuous um, extrusion tool paths that will fill entire cross-sectional areas of a part. Um, and again, you can see the Cura path for the gear shown on the left, 
and the path for our slicer shown on the right. And here's what that looks like actually in action. And again, you can note um, how we don't ever have to stop extruding, move to somewhere else um, in the design and continue extruding. We're able to print um, using this continuous extrusion toolpath. So once we had established a printable material and software that allowed us to print a wide range of geometries, we were able to print um, a wide range of objects and then test their material properties, analyze their material properties. Um, there's a lot of detail about the range of tests we conducted in the paper. I'm not gonna go over them in detail in this presentation. Um, but we were able to verify that Sarah metal parts are as dense, as strong, and as flexible as sintered bronze parts that are printed, 3D printed via other um, methods. I also wanted to say a few words just about print quality. So we're able to achieve actually quite high print quality with Sarah metal, as you can see from this 3D printed model of the Stanford bunny on the left. Um, we use a nozzle size that we can that can be as fine as 0.6 millimeters. Um, we can also use really fine layer height. Um, so in particular, the model on the left was printed at a 0.3 millimeter layer height. All in all, we're able to achieve uh, print qualities that are close to print qualities that you can achieve in plastic. Um, uh, when you print in PLA on a standard uh, plastic printer. Uh, not quite, but, um, but very close. Um, we are printing out of a soft clay-like material, so there can be some issues with slumping on like dramatic overhangs. But as you can see from this model, we can do um, pretty well. The final thing that makes us so excited about this material is its accessibility and cost. So there are two kind of primary components that contribute to the typical kind of very high cost of metal 3D printing. There's the equipment, the machines that are required, and then there's the materials. And traditionally, the, both of those tend to be very expensive. So our approach with Sarah Metal, first of all, our printing and firing equipment is an order of magnitude cheaper than most kind of traditional metal 3D printing approaches like selective laser sint sintering. Um, basically, you need a clay 3D printer, which are um, readily available for under $1,000. And you need um, a kiln, which also you can get a nice kiln for about $1,000. So we need a equipment, that costs in total about $2,000. This is in comparison to most metal 3D printing um, setups kind of start at $100,000 and really go up from there. Our materials are in general also much cheaper than um, other materials typically used in metal 3D printing. We've been able to calculate that our materials um, are approximately a fifth uh, the cost of the materials used in, in other um, approaches. Um, so a relatively very accessible um, and inexpensive way to 3D print in metal. Um, so now I wanted to share with you a couple of the applications that we've been um, exploring with this um, new material and this new approach. So first and very naturally, um, you can use uh, Sarah Metal to print um, mechanical components that are critically made out of metal. Um, so things, for example, like tools, um, mechanical um, components like gears and linkages and so on, things that need to be very strong and very durable, you can print them um, from Sarah Metal and they work very well. Other things that are traditionally kind of made from jeweler, uh, made from metal, delicate, beautiful, precious things, uh, things like jewelry um, that you can see here, we're able to get because of our kind of high print quality and high precision, we can make really beautiful, delicate 
um, lightweight, uh, lightweight objects from Sarah Metal. So you see here a series of jewelry, um, earrings and rings that are designed based on the mathematical kind of polar uh, rose curves. But you can also print just about anything um, out of Sarah Metal and anything that you can design and 3D print with a traditional material, you can 3D print in metal. So you he see here an example of a cup that we designed and 3D printed in metal. I'm gonna highlight here one of the reasons that we're so excited about the ability to kind of easily 3D print in metal is that we can now apply a wide range of computational design and computational fabrication approaches to this material. So as you see in this example, for instance, the pattern that is on the surface of this drinking cup is a computationally uh, designed pattern. We're also excited about kind of new creative possibilities that this material and this process opens up um, that we'd like to explore in the future. In particular, because Sarah metal is this metal clay, um, we can combine it with other clay-like materials during the 3D printing process to make a range of multi-material structures. So here's one preliminary um, experiment that we conducted in our lab. You can see this vessel, the bottom three quarters is 3D printed out of metal. Um, and the top one quarter is printed out of clay. This is a fired um, part where the bottom is solid metal and the top is fully, uh, fully uh, vitrified clay. And yet we were able to have them be a continuous integrated kind of mechanical piece. Um, so we're really excited about these possibilities of kind of uh, multi-material 3D printing that we hope to explore. Um, so in conclusion, we're excited to present Sarah Metal, which um, we believe just makes 3D printing in metal, metal um, much more accessible and affordable than it ever has been in the past and opens up a range of interesting new creative uh, opportunities. Thank you very much.